Definitely. And, and I think it's probably one of the first steps that, you know, any kind of research professional should take. Very much kind of understanding the person um, at the heart of, you know, kind of the product development stage, you know, understand them, you know, what's their day to day life like with any study. We'll always try and, you know, understand as much as our, about our target consumer as possible. Getting video diaries from consumers, you know, we might develop a product, but it might be used in a slightly different way. And you're like, oh, yeah, I never thought of doing it like that. So, yeah, kind of, yeah. The, the application of products is different, um, but also just kind of the understanding of products is different and how they refer to things and how they talk things through. It is really valuable, particularly when we're trying to do some sort of global communication. There was a lot of conceptions that, you know, research group should be, you know, we'll all sit together around a room, you know, we might show some stimulus, might show some concepts and things like that. And um, there's great value in doing that. But obviously, because of the pandemic, we had to kind of shift those to online. Um, and potentially, you know, you probably don't get the level of um, I don't know, the level of engagement between your, your participants. But what I really like is probably you get a bit more honesty. You haven't got somebody chirping in and you haven't got, um, you know, somebody else disagreeing with what you might say, because obviously, you know, they're kind of moder moderated in a, in a really nice way now. Um, we've obviously had to start to use different tools and, you know, obviously there's, there's no replacements for, for surveys for getting that kind of I don't know, quantitative validation of a particular particular idea or a particular challenge. Um, but what I really have enjoyed doing is very much kind of video diaries um, and, um, you know, just kind of getting into, like we were saying before, getting into the in, into the consumer's life, you know, getting into the skin of, you know, what, what she's up to, you know, how she applies her makeup, um, you know, looking through her makeup bag, you know, looking through her, her toiletries and things like that, just to kind of understand, you know, what kind of products uh, we, we should look to develop. Um, we use obviously Vox, Vox Pops, that's, that's a really valuable tool for us. That integration of, you know, just videos with consumers it, it's it's so so beneficial and what we also use them a lot for as well is you know if we've got a particular product development we've got a particular idea um potentially i wouldn't say it's a dragon's den scenario but sometimes we have to kind of you know justify the idea and explain why it might work having that consumer video of somebody saying i've got this particular problem it's worth its weight in gold it's better than any survey it's actually you know getting to the heart of you know you know, the, the kind of the tension, the challenge that potentially Avon could address through a product.